Hey guys, on today's project, I'll be showing you how I made this beautiful indoor planter using some items which are readily available. If you're interested, keep on watching. I had to recycle this old paint bucket I had at home into this beautiful indoor planter. So first of all, I had to remove the top part of the bucket. I used my hacksaw to remove the top part of the bucket. And to my new members, for those who are watching my videos for the first time, my name is Roxanne Nimiz. I normally do simple DIYs for home decor. If you're interested in more of my videos, you can click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell so as to get notified whenever I post a new video. It was easy cutting the old paint bucket into this form. Sorry for the small fly. And after cutting the top part of the old paint bucket, bucket I went ahead to cut off the excess part and then used my smooth sandpaper to sand the rough spaces or the rough edges of the old paint bucket. Once I was done I set my bucket aside and proceeded to making the legs of the indoor planter so I had to use a uh, plywood that I had at home is a piece of plywood so for the height of my legs, I had to use 25 centimeters height. The thickness of this wood measures around 5 centimeters. So you can just use any thickness that you need. So for the height of my legs, since the bucket is small, I had to use 25 centimeters. I'll put all the details in the description box, the measurements of the legs and also how I went about to making the legs of this indoor planter. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much guys for coming back to watch more of my videos. Keep on supporting Roxy Nimiz with watching my videos and also sharing my videos with your friends and family. I used three pieces of legs for my indoor planter so I had to make sure they're of the same size. I then proceeded to spray my bucket white. I had to use a white spray paint to spray my bucket all white. Then I went ahead and sprayed my piece of boards, the plywood boards or the legs of the indoor planter using a black spray paint. So I had to spray them all round into black color and this is how they turned out. Once I was done, I proceeded to the part of making the holes whereby I'll be attaching the legs onto the bucket. So I had to find the middle part of the, the plywood. So I had to draw the points, then took my piece of board and drew a line in between the wood. So the line I had to make some separation or the separation whereby I'll be drilling my holes. I'll put the measurements in the description box. So I had to measure 5 centimeters and 12 centimeters. So they were 7 centimeters apart. Once I was done, I went ahead and made the holes onto the point that I had made earlier. So I had to use my drill gun to make the point, which will whereby the screws will be getting in. So as to make it easier to join the legs and the bucket together. That I went ahead to make the point where the legs of the planter will be placed. So I had to make some marking all around the bucket, the paint bucket. So as to make sure the legs are equally placed, so I had to make the markings to know which part will be lying on the bucket and which part will be on the lower end of the bucket. So I had to measure 7 inches on my legs. So this will guide me on where to place the legs of the indoor planter.
After that, I placed the legs onto the bucket and made some markings so as to guide me on where to drill the holes. I did the same thing all round the old paint buckets, made some markings, then took my drill gun to drill the holes. To join the plywood onto the old bucket, I had to use some nuts whereby I had to screw inside the holes that I had made onto the plywood. After placing them onto the plywood, then it was easier to place them into the buckets. To decorate the top part of my indoor planter, I had to make a gold trim using a gold reflective paper and a poster board that I had at home. First of all, I had to cut the poster board into the thickness that I needed for the upper trim of my indoor planter.
this is how the trim turned out and I proceeded to the next part of gluing down the trim onto the top part of the indoor planter. So I had to place it to see if it fits perfectly onto the top part of my indoor planter. I then went ahead to place the plant inside the indoor planter so I had to use a styrofoam board which had to cut it into a circular shape this will help me to place the plant inside the planter so I had to place it on the middle part then had to push the plant inside the middle part of the styrofoam I had to add some decorative stones onto the top part so as to cover the styrofoam. And finally guys, this is the end look of beautiful indoor planter. You can say it's made out of an old paint bucket. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this beautiful end look. If you haven't subscribed, please remember to subscribe and watch more of my video at the end screen. Bye bye, see you next time for a new video.